Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by the author, Dr. Kay Jameson. Dr. Jameson, welcome. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about uh, tell us a little bit about your lecture at the meeting and some of the main themes that you're going to be talking about. Uh, well, it's titled "The Life and Moods," and it's about it's sort of about three different things. It's about a combination of writing and a writing career, writing about uh, academic medicine type things, and writing about personal lives and writing for the public, and then also writing about one's own experience, my own experience with. Um, manic depressive illness or bipolar illness and the consequences of going public and the implications if you're a professional what it means to come out uh, and be public about such things which are it's a, as you can imagine not always straightforward mm -hmm. and then the last part of it is about uh, the dis differences between grief and depression and uh, both from a personal from a professional perspective from um, a psychiatric and psychological perspective and also from a personal one. One of the big issues that we've uh, seen at the entire event, I, I would say, has been that, which has been to uh, recognise uh, some of these issues in the way that, uh, that you've, uh, you, you, you've said. Do you think that it, uh, with all the attention uh, that has been played at uh, events like this, that it is become, perhaps becoming easier, as, as you said, to maybe uh, be more open with some of these uh, issues? Well, I certainly think that people talk much more openly about mental illness now than they did. I think that's partly because we have better treatments and uh, partly because it's become really necessary and the internet makes it easier to talk about it perhaps and be informed about it. But it's still terribly difficult and it still interferes a lot with people's ability to work and get treatment. Um, it's very stigmatizing if you are uh, someone who provides clinical care. Um, you, you need to be able to both be compass mentis and be able to treat people but you also need to um, feel accepted and like you're going to be able to get good treatment without being stigmatized and penalized for getting treatment. Well, Dr. Jameson thank you very much indeed for joining us. We appreciate Thanks. that. Thank you. Thanks.